Now to Taraba State now, where Governor Darius Ishaku has sympathized with the flood victims of Mayogwai and other riverbank communities in Jalingo after an early morning downpour rendered more than 150 residents homeless. And our correspondent, Ulabi Adenusi, filed in this report. Taraba was one of the states warned about impending floods this year. Minister for Water Resources Suleiman Adamu had handed down this warning of impending flood on behalf of Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency. The minister said local governments in 28 states and the Federal Capital Territory as well as another 302 local governments across the country will likely experience high and moderate flooding in 2021. There would also be heavy coastal flooding in Delta rivers, Cross rivers, Bielsa, Lagos and Ondo states. Consequently, he urged states to make concerted efforts to mitigate the impact of the expected flooding. Taraba state is one of the first states to experience flooding in its capital, with the Mayogwe River Benue waterway channel overflowing its banks. Some residents who were woken by the effect of the early hour downpour shared their experiences with TVC News. You can see this whole thing started since the early hours of the day. In fact, some people woke up and discovered that their houses were already submerged inside water. So many houses have, have been collapsed. So many, in fact, some, some people were rushed to the hospital because of the shock. Some were hyperte uh, hypertensive. We have to rush them to the hospital. Woke up this early morning, we saw the, the house is just uh, of a flood with water. We don't know how it comes. It Look at our houses. Living in Shambul now, we cannot go into our houses. Snakes and everything are inside our houses. It started falling at the early hours of the night. So when the rain stopped, then we started uh, noticing that a uh, flood was coming from the river. So that was when it started coming and then we tried to move some things to a safer site, but we discovered that the fence started falling. So we had to run out and then take shield. A delegation from Governor Dario Zishako visited the victims, assuring them that the state government will come to their aid. The governor's representative and chairman of Jalingo local government, Abdul Nasir Boboji, called on non-governmental organizations and the federal government to assist the state in bringing succor to the victims. I want to use this medium to appeal to the federal government, to uh, the central and the state and the central government to proactively uh, come to the aid of these victims so as to bring succor, bring succor to the uh, victims uh, without much uh, a waste of time, at least as an entry measure before the long measure is going to be taken. At least, actually, when you look at it, uh, billions of naira have been lost in this place. So, actually, we are still going out for the assessment. So, immediately when we are through, we at least we we'll invite you. The flood affected over 100 residents, with property worth billions of naira destroyed. 